I have some questions for you. Uh, you from Sydney. We can ask you some questions. Would you agree that with three bills before the Parliament to change the ABC Act and a competitive neutrality inquiry into the ABC, and with Pauline Hanson saying she's going after the ABC's budget this year, the ABC is subject to more than the usual level of parliamentary scrutiny at this point in time? You, you haven't been here long, Senator Keneally. Um, they're always. Thank you. For that, um, no, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Ms. Guthrie answer, director. but. That's um, nice. but um, what, what the point I'm, I'm making, Senator Keneally, is um, uh, the ABC uh, is always uh, a subject of uh, great interest by this parliament. Managing Director, would my question to you, please? Uh, Senator, uh, let me let me take all of those those issues individually. Mm. Um, first is the competitive neutrality inquiry, and obviously this is a government initiative. And I really don't have a view on that, except that the ABC will fully participate in the inquiry. And, and I'm very confident that the ABC is complying with Commonwealth competitive neutrality policy. Um, you know, we've been engaged in commercial activities since 1933, and approximately only 4% of ABC's funds are from our commercial activities. Um, the, the other two, there are a number of other bills um, uh, to being currently considered. The first is in relation to salary disclosure, and I think you know, in our submission to um, that inquiry, it became, it, it was um, our very strong view that um, while um, we agree with the minister that, that taxpayers are entitled to expect a high degree of transparency about how their taxes are being spent, that our reporting of salaries is completely consistent with the guidelines set for the public service by the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet. And in addition, since uh, the beginning of this year, we've reported the salaries for key management personnel, including myself, mm -hmm. the chair, Ms Higgins, and leaders of our content teams. So in effect, we're disclosing both at a public standard level as well as um, for commercial business entities as established under the Corporations Act. And so we believe that placing additional disclosure requirements on public broadcasters in isolation is unnecessary and, just and unjustified. Um, there are, are two other um, proposals in front of, of um, uh, in, in legislation um, in t to change our charter. One is uh, in relation to some changes around uh, you know, re regional and rural and, and the establishment of a further advisory uh, committee. And, and again, our, our position on that has been very clear that that uh, you know, roughly a third of our budget is currently um, allocated towards um, uh, you know, our, our regional um, audiences. On top of that, two of our, of our current directors are, are based in regional areas. And we already have an advisory committee um, which has significant representation from, from rural and regional Australia. So we don't think that the further addition of, of um, uh, both the establishment of a, of a specific rural and regional advisory commission mm -hmm. committee or, frankly, changing our legislation to specifically refer to those two obligations around regional are, are in fact, mm -hmm. necessary. And then the third issue um, in, in front of um, being proposed in terms of legislation is the addition of the words fair and balanced mm. in uh, relation to our, uh, our charter. And, and again, or uh, it is very clear to us that this is something that we very much um, have in our editorial policies and guidelines, and it's, it's something that is unnecessary in, in terms of, of legislative change. Thank you. Um, 